some schools are very stingy some schools are very stingy they are very stingy with scholarships stingy with money stingy with everything but there's some hola hola welcome back to elastic videos hope you all are doing well hope you're staying safe today so today as an international student we're going to talk about how to get in-state tuition instead of international international student tuition and cut your whole tuition in half let me say that again for example as an international student our tuition is high tuition i'm sure watching this you know tuition is high for example a whole year will be like thirty thousand dollars thirty k dollars whereby in states people people like citizens residents are paying like five thousand dollars a semester or five thousand dollars a year sometimes with financial aid you know how stressful that can be i'm going to tell you and show you how you can actually cut that down into half and how you can start paying in-state tuition as if you were born in the United States of America and as if you're a resident or you're a green card resident or whatever like that. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is a little bit of story, but not too long. So for me earlier during my undergrad days, when I was an undergrad, I tried to get this by applying for the actual form of or apply for in-state tuition. Maybe if you've been here, if you think you've been here enough, if you think you have family that is a resident, you could do some form of claim like, oh yeah, you deserve in-state tuition because maybe you you lived here when you were younger, you came back, blah, 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 blah. So that's what I was trying to do because I was like, oh yeah, my family had been here for a little bit. So of course, why can't I qualify for in-state tuition? But nope, it did not work. I sent, I did those forms, I sent them in. They were like, oh no, this doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. You don't have a veteran in your family. You were not born here. You don't have property here, blah, 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 blah. Those are the stories I was hearing. So in my mind, I was already kind of leaving it. It's like, okay, fine, I guess I can't get in-state tuition. This was my second year of school because at least for the first, my, it was actually my second semester of school. At least for the first semester, you will most likely be paying international student fees. But if you can persevere and do this one thing I ask of you, you will pay much less than that. The thing is, and I don't know why they don't publicize this. I remember those, I mean, it's not those days, it's like three years ago. I remember the, three years ago or four years ago, maybe three years ago, yeah. Around the time when I was actually trying to do these things, it just felt like I wasn't receiving any information. It felt like no one was telling me the right things. But at, at some point I felt like, okay, I guess there's no more. There's not much more to this that I need to know. I think I'm done knowing everything until I don't know if it was my prayer to God or whatever it was, but I was really like, okay, Lord, I really want to get the, this institution. I don't want to have to have family um, paying for all these big fees. I don't want to have to like maybe struggle later to pay them off myself if I do choose that route. The thing you have to do is you have to make sure you get a $1,000. Ah, look how the sun is beaming in my face. <laughs> you have to make sure you get a $1,000 scholarship. And that may seem to some people like, oh, how do I get a $1,000 scholarship? It's very easy. And I'm going to tell you different ways you can get a $1,000 scholarship. Imagine getting a $1,000 scholarship from your school will automatically qualify you as an in-state resident. Can you imagine that? Can you? Because I can't. I really cannot imagine that. Literally, what this means is let's say you pay $15,000, $15K dollars, a semester as an international student when you do get any form of $1,000 scholarship in the United States it would automatically qualify you to pay $7,000 or $5,000 instead think about it from $15,000 to $5,000 just because you got a $1,000 scholarship like it doesn't make sense almost technically but that is exactly what happens if you can secure a $1,000 scholarship your second semester or going up from there you would automatically qualify for this in-state tuition and so now you may be asking how do I secure this $1,000 or how do I do this how do I do that there are so many ways the first way that was the easiest thing for me and I it's so funny because I that's why I said maybe my hand I was just in God's hands because I did not plan this but I was trying my best to figure it out the best thing that worked for me is there's this thing called um, uh, parents association scholarships and I think every school has that around the United States of America you have parents association scholarships so when you first get into college as an international student what you need to do to get the scholarship is tell your parents even if they're away they're outside the US tell them to register 
as part of the parent association you may cost the fee at the time or whatever it is but by the time you apply for scholarships all you have to do is say oh you're from social country your name is this your parents that is in the association their name is this and you leave you send in your application as a scholarship or whatever if, like when I sent in that application I didn't actually think of that scholarship it was so short it was part of like a general like uh, my school UNT University of North Texas will send out stuff like general scholarship you put in your details and they will apply you to different things that you could apply for that is how the next semester I was in college that's how I saw that oh I got a $1,000 scholarship but guess what at the point where I got that scholarship I had no idea that this was useful more than what I got I was just like okay $1,000 they will apply $5,000 every semester what is I'm um, sorry $500 what is $500 compared to the $15,000 we we're paying so that was really nothing to me until I literally it was actually a friend that told me this and it's so funny because I don't even know how it happened he told me this on the bus like oh Ola did you get a $1,000 scholarship I was like yeah I remember I got that last semester but I've never really seen or used it for anything much and I was like yeah you know you can qualify for institution and I was like what how how can you just qualify for institution and if I could why didn't anyone tell me that's how I went home and I first went to their office I don't even remember what I did. It's been a while. I think I just decided that I was going to call them, and I, call them, and I was going to ask. The first person I called was like, "Oh, uh, and this is the thing with international students. Sometimes they tell you a whole bunch of different things, and because it's not because they're trying to lie to you, it's because a lot of people don't know. You ask them stuff, they don't really know. They're just like, oh yeah, well, international students don't qualify just because it's just easiest for them to say that. But I called them and I was like, oh yeah, hello sir, hello madam. Do you think I could, um, I'm just wondering. I When I talk about something that I want, I don't ask as though, like, oh, do you think I can get? Um, I say, how do I get, um, no, what did I say? I say something like, oh, I'm ready to start receiving my in-state tuition because now I have my $1,000. <laughs> I literally said something along those lines because I really did not know if my school had that service or not. I was just like, I'm ready to start getting my in-state tuition since I have my $1,000. And she was like, oh yeah, oh, you you have your $1,000. And I was like, yes. And she was like, well, sorry, I don't know much about that. I think to qualify for in-state tuition, you have to have lived here for many years. You have to be a resident, blah, blah, blah. That was end of story. So imagine that she did not know. Imagine someone that wasn't perseverant or persevering would have just left it at that and just said, okay, fine, I can't get it. Let me move on and just keep on paying this enormous amount of fees my whole four years of university. What I did the next day, I decided to call again because I was like, this woman, yeah, she told me this, but what if she doesn't know what she's talking about? I did some research online. I literally could not find anything that said anything along the lines of just secure a $1,000 scholarship. I called then and it was a man this time I think and he was like oh yeah you can get that um let me let me put it in your account that you are now uh, that you are now approved for institution when he said something like that I was like what what do you mean I'm not approved for, for institution why did you all not tell me this before when I was going up and down filling forms trying to get institution why did you all not tell me this someone had to tell me and then I was I was having to research that they find any information I was having to call up to two times to actually now hear that I could get approved this is how he just said oh he has put it in my system I should make wait like one week my fees for that semester was going to be much less than I was paying instead of fifteen thousand dollars it went to like seven thousand dollars yo when I was telling my family about this, they were like, what? Like, for real? They were thanking me, like, ah, good job, blah, blah. They thanking me because it, it's, it, it's, it then looks as if I'm, I even got a big scholarship or I got, like, a half to show off scholarship. I did not get the half to show off scholarship. I got a $1,000 scholarship. So I'm just telling you all, maybe I've been writing too much on this call, but what I'm telling you is, as an international student, yes, you can get a state tuition by having a scholarship that is just $1,000. $1,000 will literally cut down a whole ten thousand dollars literally so um yeah that's literally what i was going to, i was really going to say on this call in terms of um exactly the state that this is applicable for i know that it's mostly actually texas universities that have this right now i did some research before the, like what i knew only for myself was texas but then doing some research i did see that it said a lot of states don't do that they don't care if you've had a one thousand dollars they don't care so that's something to keep in mind if you're a new international student if you're applying um to to schools in the u.s consider that search up schools that would give you in-state tuition like your second semester or your second year it helps a whole lot it really 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 does like it's not an understatement it helps a whole lot so that's what you have to do 
to cut down your tuition 50% and to get institution, which is the same thing. Get institution means you start paying like a resident, no longer like an international student, even though you are still an international student. So I hope I'm not forgetting anything on this call. Um, I'm going to put some links also in the description, in the description, just to help you if you want to check stuff out by yourself, studying in the U S international student stuff um getting yeah whether wherever you do are you wherever you are deciding to go my main tip if we if i haven't said anything that really resonated with you in this video is always ensure that you call always ensure that you persevere always ensure that when people tell you stuff in your schools that oh international students can't do these things in your school persevere go to the deep matter don't just hear them like for example i've had experiences with internships that i i had internships that i was given offer letters for i went to my department and they're like oh yeah you can't take this because you're an international student and i was like what i will tell you or maybe on the next video how to ignore all of that and not not do anything illegally but how to do whatever you qualify for and whatever you, you are given the advantage to do in terms of you get an internship you get a new job off campus even though they say you can't work off campus while in school during the summer you can work off campus it just takes the right amount of um, things that you have to do and you also have to be perseverant because there are some people that literally don't know much about these things and they'll just tell you oh yeah you can't do that you can't just ask the teacher in your department and hear what they say and when they say they can't do that even your advisor if she says oh you can't do that you still have to question it go to the dean go to online be like how come an international student in florida is able to do this internship whereby me in this state you're telling me that i can't do it it does not make any sense if they want to fight with you go to immigration <laughs> that's the that's the last one you really have to go for but honestly what i'm just telling you is always make sure you call call to ask that's the first step of action you should take about this whole estate thing if you are thinking of your school if you know your school already take pick up the phone call your school pick up the phone call your school's office hello can i have uh, i'm just wondering please um what your policies are with international students with getting scholarships some schools are very stingy some schools are very stingy they're very stingy with scholarships stingy with money stingy with everything but there are some there are some schools that are very accommodating to international students because they also want to grow their global branding they want to grow grow like oh yeah they have um, students from different parts of the world so it's like help me help your situation they're helping you and you're helping them by being in their school so do all this research before you get into college in the u.s it really really helps let me just see if i'm forgetting anything um i don't think so oh uh, yeah like i said i'll just link it down oh yeah there's this thing for texas called bobcat online scholarship system which i'm going to link but it's a way whereby you can put in one application and the system would apply you to numerous scholarships in around the around texas that i know mostly texas right now because even though i'm not in texas right now but the texas was where i did my undergrad and texas is what i'm hearing that they give the most in-state tuition to international students so when you put your information in that website boss bobcat online scholarship system boss that's the local financial aid or texas state or edu you put in your details one application is sent it out you are um, sent it out for you to apply to other places it will apply for you to other scholarships and that is a simple way to get your one thousand dollars one thousand dollars scholarship is actually very small but in the scope of what it does for you in a school that is willing to use that benefit is that it will take you significantly lower than your your tuition which is what i'm saying but anyway just do your research um but yeah always give your school a call give more than one person a call don't listen to a no one time and forget it give don't there's a book called the 10 times rule don't stop until you at least do that thing for 10 10 times don't call the call this office for like 10 times speak to 10 different people speak to 10 different deans speak to 10 different universities speak to 10 different bosses speak to 10 different companies numerous things like that always persevere don't just end it when people say oh you can't do that yeah i think we're done with this video let me not talk too much but yes um what did i say i was going to be telling you on the next one let's let's see yeah, of course, on here we talk about millennial talks, self-help, development, faith, international students, lifestyle content, worship, reaction videos sometimes. We just have fun, we learn, we grow, we share, we prosper. Amen. Amen. But let me see what else I said I was going to say maybe for the next video. 
is yeah i think i said i was gonna do oh pay for your tuition easier using flywire so even if paraventure if you can't still get institution wherever you are as a student i'm going to be showing you how even though you're paying as an international student you can still pay a little bit lower it won't be as low as getting in state but you can pay lower and this is by something called flywire so if you all are watching this right now if you know that already tell me in the comments that you know that but i'm going to be talking about that in the next video flywire as an international student it helps you so much because you connect with your bank with your parents bank or your family's bank directly in your country and the exchange rates are much better because they know that currency to currency sometimes the exchange rates are crazy and it makes things even more expensive for international students even more than normal but like i'm saying with flywire it helps flywire connected to your local banks in your local country it helps a lot but yeah i'll not say that on here but that's the next video we're gonna do so of course consider coming back for more like i said we talk about so many different things on this channel but as an international student i'm doing more of a series right now and we're learning and we're growing feel free to reach out to me feel free to comment let me know if you've had this experience before let me know if your school does this i'm giving you an assignment pick up your phone type international student office so 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 your school unt whatever pick up the pick up the phone and call them and ask them these things if one person says no ask somebody else make sure always make sure that you ask different people anyways i think we've done enough what else what else what else what else yeah that's it thank you all so much for stopping by of course don't forget to subscribe come back to see this beautiful face and yeah we don't have we don't even have guests very soon also learning alongside with them but of course come back and consider subscribing coming back for more commenting sharing and all those good stuff thank you all for the growth thank you all that have been here as it's actually students on here also watching my channel if you're not also getting some tips or just coming by to just <laughs> look at me thank you <laughs> so thank you all so much god bless you see you on the next one of course don't forget to come back for more like i said and i'll see you soon bye